Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about masks, cultural masks. Let's start off with the Bahamian Jukunu masks. Jukunu is a street parade with music, dance and costumes of mixed African origin. In many islands across the English-speaking Caribbean, every Boxing Day, 26 December and New Year Day in the 1st of January. These cultural parades are predominantly showcased in the Bahamas, where the music is also mainstreamed and competition results are hotly contested. The festivals may have originated several centuries ago when enslaved the descendants of Africans on plantations in the Bahamas celebrated holidays granted around Christmas time when dance, music, and costumes. After an emancipation, the tradition continued and Jukunu evolved from a simple origin to formal organized parade with interact costumes, team music, and official prizes with various categories. Dances are choreographed to the best goatskin drums and cowbells. This is a continuation. Jukunu named after the West African John Kuni West Festival, originated in the Bahamas around 17th century as masquerade sea lives were with their faces hidden underneath a floor flower pasted celebrate the on Boxing Day and the day after Christmas. Later the flower pasted was replaced with wire mast held on a stick. The most popular belief in Jukuna is developed from the days of slavery, the influx of lo- loyal st- and the in the late 18th century brought many enslaved people who gave their three days off at Christmas, which they celebrated by singing and dancing in colorful masks, traveling from house to house, often on slits. Jukuni nearly vanished after the slavery was abolished, but the reveal of the festival in the Bahamas now provided entertainment for many thousands. Egyptian Cultural Masks in ancient Egypt, masks were primarily used for two purposes, as a death mask and as a ritual mask. Ancient Egyptians believed that it is very important to preserve a body of the dead because the soul has to have a place where to dwell after the death. One of the most famous funeral masks is the mask of Tukenham. Funerary masks were frequently used to cover the face of the deceased. Generally, their purpose was to represent the features features of the deceased, both to honor them and to establish a relationship through the mask with the spirit world. The Tudahami Mask Tunakam was only the age of nine when he became the king of Egypt during the 18th dynasty of the New Kingdom. His story would have been lost to his history if it were not for the discovery of his tomb in 1922 by the valley uh, by the archaeologist Howard Skater in the Valley of the Kings. He nearly intacted the tomb, held a wealth of objects that gave us unique insights to his this period of ancient Egyptian history. The present location is the Egyptian music. In museum in Cairo, the material was gold, lapis lazuli, carnelline, ob- obsidian, turquoise, and glass p- past, paste. Created in the 1323 BC, the size was 50 to 54 times 39.3 times 49 cm. It was discovered on 28 October 1925. The Chinese masks. In the ni- in 1987, construction workers unearthed a bronze sculpture wearing masks belonging to Sangindui civilization dating back to 12,000, 1,200 BC. Sorry, masks were primarily created to don the personality of another, but were used for communicating with the dearly departed. Since marooning of for the dead always felt incomplete. A shaman was needed to perform the rites as well to provide the link 
between the living and the dead. Chinese masks have a rich history dating back to rock cave painting found nearly the Yang Qi River. Since their incipitation, masks have been used in wars to intimidate and create fear among enemies. They have also been used by street performers to don the personality of different characters in a play. Chinese cultural mask continuation. In Chinese culture, masks were thought of being a form of communication between the mortal men and the mortal gods, immortal gods. They were thought to bring blessings, drive away evil spirits, ward off diseases, and protect their owner from various disasters. Some examples of the Chinese mask include Exarin masks, social masks, Tibetan masks, shamic masks, theatrical masks, and New Year's Eve masks. In Chinese culture, individual colors represent different characteristics. For example, the red mask represents prosperity and bravery, while white masks represent evil and being hip- hypocritical. Hypocritical. Purple masks represent justice and sophistication. Black represents integrity and impartiality. Blue represents stubbornness and fierceness. Green shows that the character is violent and impulsive, while yellow represents a cruel and ambitious character. Gold and silver masks are used to represent divine being such a god, demon, spirit, or ghost. Masks were made out of a variety of materials such as glass, stone, leather, cloth, wood, or paper. Thank you, guys.